दूसरे साडे नाल एक फाइनेंस दे नाल संबंध रखने वाले सज्जन दिना दे नाम गुरमीत सोही है ओ हो जुड़न जा रहे इना दे नाल असि गल करंगे असि क्योंकि मोस्टली अमृत सूरा जी थर्सडे नु ज्वाइन करदे है उन्होंने रिक्वेस्ट कीती डेट चेंज करने वास्ते ते शायद साडे नाल जल्दी जुड़ जान ਮੈਂ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਇੱਕ ਮੈਸੇਜ ਵੀ ਭੇਜ ਰਿਹਾ ਐਸ ਵੀ ਸਵੀ ਸਪੀਕ ਸੋ ਉਮੀਦ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਜਲਦੀ ਆ ਜਾਣਗੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦਾ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਰਜੀਮ ਹੈ ਟਾਈਮ ਦਾ ਬੜਾ ਸਟ੍ਰਿਕਟ ਹੈ ਜੀ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਤਾਂ ਡਰ ਲੱਗਦਾ ਹੈ ਜੇ ਬੰਦੇ ਨੂੰ ਛੇੜ ਦੇ ਹੋਏ ਵੀ ਕਿ ਇੰਨਾ ਸਖਤ ਕਿੱਦਾਂ ਕੋਈ ਬੰਦਾ ਆਪਣਾ ਸਿਸਟਮ ਮੇਨਟੇਨ ਕਰ ਸਕਦਾ ਪਰ ਦਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਹਾਊ ਹੀ ਹੈਜ਼ ਮੇਨਟੇਨ ਹਿਸ ਲਾਈਫ ਅੱਜ ਦੇ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਸਭ ਤੋਂ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਤਾਂ ਅਸੀਂ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਸਾਰੇ ਸੱਜਣਾਂ ਨੂੰ बहुत बहुत मुबारक बात देनी चाहवांगे जिना दे आज दे दिन जन्म दिन आंदे मतलब 17 अगस्त नु जिना दी आज एनिवर्सरीज आउंदी है ओना नु ते जिना दे घर च आज जश्न मनाया जा रहा है नव जन्मे शिशुआ दा ओना सारे नु मेरे वलो लाख लाख बधाई होवे आज दा दिन बड़ा कर्म वाला जी बहुत सोना चलेया थोड़े सारे वास्ते परमात्मा थानू ਇੰਨੀ ਕੋ ਬਰਕਤ ਦੇਵੇ ਕਿ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਸਾਰੀ ਦੁਨੀਆ ਦੀ ਕਾਇਆ ਕਲਪ ਕਰ ਦੋ ਇੱਕ ਪੋਜ਼ਿਟਿਵ ਰੁਝਾਨ ਵੱਲ ਲੈ ਜਾਓ ਅਸੀਂ ਅੱਜ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਇੱਕ ਬੜਾ ਹਾਸੋ ਹੀ ਨਾਲ ਟਾਪਿਕ ਵੀ ਡਿਸਕਸ ਕਰਨਾ ਚਾਹਾਂਗੇ ਹਾਸੋ ਹੀ ਨਾਲ ਇਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਕਿ ਮੈਂ ਤਾਂ ਹੁਣ ਕੀ ਦੱਸਾਂ ਜਦੋਂ ਗੱਲ ਸ਼ੁਰੂ ਹੋਈ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਉਦੋਂ ਜ਼ਰੂਰ ਉਸ ਤੇ ਨਜ਼ਰ ਮਾਰਿਓ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਦੁਨੀਆ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਹਰ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਦੀ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਚੀਜ਼ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਵਿਕਦੀ ਹੈ ਠੀਕ ਹੈ ਹੁਣ ਡਿਪੈਂਡ ਕਰਦਾ ਕਿ ਉਹਦਾ ਖਰੀਦਦਾਰ ਕਿਦਾਂ ਦਾ ਹੈਗਾ ਅਸੀਂ ਇਸ ਤੇ ਥੋੜਾ ਜਿਹਾ ਚਾਨਣਾ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਜ਼ਰੂਰ ਪਾਣਾ ਚਾਹਾਂਗੇ ਕਿ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਅੱਜ ਥੋੜਾ ਜਿਹਾ ਮਹਿਸੂਸ ਹੋ ਰਿਹਾ ਕਿ ਅਸੀਂ ਸ਼ਾਇਦ ਬਹੁਤ ਜ਼ਿਆਦਾ ਇੱਕ ਦੂਜੇ ਨੂੰ ਮੋਨੀਟਰ ਕਰਨ ਤੇ ਆ ਗਏ ਹਾਂ ਕੋਈ ਜ਼ਮਾਨਾ ਸੀ ਜਦੋਂ ਇਹ ਚੀਜ਼ਾਂ ਠੀਕ ਚੱਲਦੇ ਸੀਗੇ ਪਰ ਹੁਣ ਜ਼ਮਾਨਾ ਬਦਲ ਗਿਆ ਹੁਣ ਉਹ ਗੱਲਾਂ ਨਹੀਂ ਰਹੀਆਂ ਜਿਹੜੀਆਂ ਕਿ ਕਿਸੇ ਜ਼ਮਾਨੇ ਚ ਹੁੰਦੀਆਂ ਸੀਗੀਆਂ ਇਸ ਤੋਂ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਕਿ ਸਿੱਗੇ ਚਲੀਏ ਅਸੀਂ ਹਮੇਸ਼ਾ ਦੀ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਆਪਣਾ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਇੱਕ ਖੋਟ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਸ਼ੁਰੂ ਕਰਾਂਗੇ ਅੱਜ ਦੀ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਸਾਡੀ ਖੋਟ ਹੈਗੀ ਆ ਉਹ ਹੈਗੀ ਹੈ ਜੀ ਇੱਕ ਸ਼ਖਸ ਸੀਗੇ ਦੁਨੀਆ ਚ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਜਨਮ ਲਿਆ ਸੀਗਾ ਹਰਮਨ ਮੈਲਵੀਲ ਹਰਮਨ ਮੈਲਵੀਲ ਨਾਂ ਦਾ ਇਹ ਸ਼ਖਸ ਸਾਡੇ ਇਸ ਵਰਲਡ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਐਗਜ਼ਿਸਟ ਕਰਦਾ ਰਿਹਾ ਜੀ ਅਗਸਤ 1 1819 ਤੋਂ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਸਪਟੰਬਰ 28 1891 ਤੱਕ ਪਰ ਅਨੰਦ ਦੀ ਗੱਲ ਆ ਕਿ 1819 1819 ਤੇ ਨੰਬਰ ਹੈ ਠੀਕ ਹੈ 18 18 91 91 19 91 91 91 91 91 ਸੋ 1 ਅਗਸਤ 1819 ਨੂੰ ਪੈਦਾ ਹੋਏ ਤੇ ਸਪਟੰਬਰ 28 1891 ਨੂੰ ਇਹ ਇਸ ਦੁਨੀਆ ਤੋਂ ਅਲਵਿਦਾ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਚਲੇ ਗਏ ਇੱਕ ਅਮਰੀਕਨ ਰਾਈਟਰ ਸੀ consummate adventure melville ne apni inna de travels de utte books likhi hain he wrote about ocean voyages with rigorous detail his most famous book jehdi si gi work jinu kya janda oh si ji moby dick was unappreciated during his lifetime ke hunda ki jo jinde rahiye te odo jinde us vele sanu odi koi ਵਾ ਵਾ ਮਿਲਦੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਪਰ ਉਸ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਪੂਰੇ ਹੋ ਜਾਈਏ ਦੁਨੀਆ ਨੂੰ ਛੱਡ ਜਾਈਏ ਉਸ ਵੇਲੇ ਲੋਕੀ ਬੱਲੇ ਬੱਲੇ ਕਰਨ ਲੱਗ ਜਾਂਦੇ ਆ ਬਟ ਇਹ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਬੁੱਕ ਸੀ ਇਹਦੀ ਮੋਬੀ ਡਿਕ ਐਮ ਓ ਬੀ ਬੀ ਵਾਈ ਵਿਚ ਹਾਈਫਨ ਹੈ ਜੀ ਉਸ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਡੀ ਆਈ ਸੀ ਕੇ ਹੈ ਇਹ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਜ਼ਿੰਦਗੀ ਦੇ ਦੌਰਾਨ ਤੇ ਕਿਸੇ ਨੇ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਪਸੰਦ ਕੀਤਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਪਰ ਜਦੋਂ ਪੂਰੇ ਹੋ ਗਏ ਮੈਲਵਿਲ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਉਸ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਇਹ ਅਮਰੀਕਾ ਦਾ ਵਨ ਆਫ ਦਾ ਗ੍ਰੇਟੈਸਟ ਨਾਵਲ ਕੰਸੀ
ਇਸ ਨਾਵਲ ਨੂੰ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਲਿਖਿਆ ਤੇ ਹੋਰ ਵੀ ਕਈ ਐਡਵੈਂਚਰਸ ਨਾਵਲ ਟਰੈਵਲ ਤੇ ਸੀਗੇ ਮੈਨਹੈਟਨ ਨਿਊਯਾਰਕ ਚ ਪੈਦਾ ਹੋਏ ਤੇ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਪੈਰੈਂਟ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਸੀਗੇ ਮੈਰੀਆ ਜੈਨਿਸ ਵੂਟ ਐਂਡ ਐਲਨ ਮੈਲਵਿਲ ਤੇ ਆਪਾਂ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਵਰਕ ਹੈਗੇ ਆ ਮੋਬਿਡਿਕ ਕਲੈਰਲ ਬਿਲੀ ਬਡ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਬੱਚੇ ਹੈਗੇ ਜੀ 1 2 3 ਤੇ 4 ਇਹਨਾਂ ਦੀ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਖੋਟ ਹੈਗੀ ਆ ਉਹ ਆਪਾਂ ਹੁਣੇ ਡਿਸਕਸ ਕਰਾਂਗੇ ਕੋਟ ਬਾਰ ਰਹੀ ਆ ਪਾਉਣ ਦਾ ਸਾਰਾ ਜ਼ਿਕਰ ਕਰ ਰਹੇ ਆ ਜੀ ਸਾਡੇ ਗੈਸਟ ਸਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਜੁੜ ਚੁੱਕੇ ਆ ਤਾਂ ਅਮਰੇਸ਼ੂਰਾ ਜੀ ਬੜੀ ਜਲਦੀ ਅਸੀਂ ਨੂੰ ਸਟੇਜ ਤੇ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਆਵਾਂਗੇ ਹਰਮਨ ਮੈਲਵਿਲ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਪੈਦਾ ਹੋਏ ਇਹ ਤੀਸਰੇ ਬੱਚੇ ਸਨ ਮੈਰੀਆ ਜੈਨਸੀ ਵੂਟ ਐਂਡ ਐਲਨ ਮੈਲਵਿਲ ਦੇ ਇਹ ਐਲਬੇਨੀ ਡੈਚ ਤੋਂ ਬਿਲੋਂਗ ਕਰਦੇ ਐਂਡ ਅਮਰੀਕਨ ਰੈਵੋਲੂਸ਼ਨਰੀ ਫੈਮਿਲੀਜ਼ ਨਾਲ ਸੰਬੰਧ ਰੱਖਦੇ ਆ ਵਾਈਲ ਦੇ ਆਰ देयर ਆਰ ਰਿਲੇਸ਼ਨਸ ਵਰ ਲਸਟਰਸ the family struggled to adapt to changing economic conditions following the war of 1812 new york ke rahe ji alan imported european dress goods and maria ran the household giving birth to eight children between 1815 to leke 1830 tak melville sahab jehde hai teesre bacche eh sige te inna ne jehde books likhe ne travel bahut zyada kita ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਬੁੱਕਸ ਜਿਹੜੀਆਂ ਸੀਗੀਆਂ ਉਹ ਠੀਪੀ ਉਮੋ ਮਾਰਡੀ ਐਂਡ ਏ ਵੋਇਜ ਥਿਟਰ ਰੈਡਬਰਨ ਮੋਬਿਡਿਕ ਔਰ ਦ ਵੇਲ ਐਂਡ ਪੀਅਰ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਲਿਖੀਆਂ ਸੋ ਬੜੇ ਹੀ ਇੱਕ ਸਕਸੈਸਫੁਲ ਇਨਸਾਨ ਦੇ ਤੌਰ ਤੇ ਇਹ ਦੁਨੀਆ ਦੇ ਸਾਹਮਣੇ ਇਹ ਪੇਸ਼ ਹੋਏ ਜੀ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਇੱਕ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਇੱਕ ਕੋਟ ਦਿੱਤੀ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਕੋਟ ਅਸੀਂ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਸਕਰੀਨ ਦੇ ਉੱਤੇ ਨਾਲ ਸਾਂਝੀ ਕਰਨੀ ਚਾਹਾਂਗੇ ਇਸ ਤੇ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਸਾਰਿਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਵਰਕ ਕਰਨਾ ਪੈਣਾ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਆ ਕਿ ਇਟ ਇਜ਼ ਬੈਟਰ ਟੂ ਫੇਲ ਇਨ オリਜਨੈਲਿਟੀ ਥੈਨ ਟੂ ਸਕਸੀਡ ਇਨ ਇਮੀਟੇਸ਼ਨ ਮਤਲਬ ਦਿਖਾਵੇ ਦੀ ਸਕਸੈਸ ਨਾਲੋਂ ਹਕੀਕਤ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਫੇਲ ਹੋਣਾ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਉਹ ਹੋ ਦਰਜੇ ਹਜ਼ਾਰ ਦਰਜੇ ਲੱਖ ਦਰਜੇ ਬੜੀ ਹੈ ਹੁਣ ਸਾਡੇ ਇੱਥੇ ਕੀ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਇਹ ਇੱਕ ਦੁਨੀਆ ਦਾ ਇੱਕ ਸਿਸਟਮ ਹੀ ਬਣ ਗਿਆ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਜ਼ਿੰਦਗੀ ਚ ਭਾਵੇਂ ਜਿੰਨੇ ਮਰਜ਼ੀ ਫੇਲ ਹੋਵੋ ਸੋਸ਼ਲ ਮੀਡੀਆ ਤੇ ਕਾਮਯਾਬ ਦਿਖਣਾ ਬਹੁਤ ਜ਼ਰੂਰੀ ਹੈ ਸ਼ਾਇਦ ਕੋਈ ਜਾਲ ਚ ਮੱਛੀ ਫਸ ਜਾਵੇ ਨੌਲੇਜ ਹੋਏ ਨਾ ਹੋਏ ਪ੍ਰੈਟੈਂਡ ਕਰਨਾ ਬਹੁਤ ਜ਼ਰੂਰੀ ਹੈ ਸ਼ਕਲ ਚੰਗੀ ਹੋਏ ਨਾ ਹੋਏ ਫਿਰ ਮੈਂ ਤਾਂ ਕਹਿ ਰਹੀ ਗੱਲ ਕਹਿਣੀ ਵੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਲੈਟਸ ਡ੍ਰੌਪ ਇਟ ਅਕਲ ਹੋਏ ਨਾ ਹੋਏ ਪਰ ਅਕਲ ਮੰਦ ਲੱਗਣਾ ਬਹੁਤ ਜ਼ਰੂਰੀ ਹੈ ਸੋ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਫੇਕ ਵਰਲਡ ਆ ਇਹ ਇੰਨਾ ਜ਼ਿਆਦਾ ਪਪੂਲਰ ਹੋ ਗਿਆ ਆਫਟਰ ਦਾ ਇਨਵੈਂਟ ਆਫ ਸੋਸ਼ਲ ਮੀਡੀਆ ਕਿ ਮੈਂ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਦੱਸ ਨਹੀਂ ਸਕਦਾ ਆਈ ਕੈਨ ਨਾਟ ਪੁੱਟ ਮੋਰ ਐਮਫਸਿਸ ਔਨ ਥਿਸ ਬਟ ਐਨੀਵੇਸ ਜਸਟ ਕੀਪ ਥਿਸ ਕੋਟ ਇਨ ਮਾਈਂਡ ਇਟਸ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਟੂ ਸੇਵ ਯਰ ਲਾਈਫ ਐਂਡ ਇਟਸ ਆਲਸੋ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਟੂ ਸੇਵ ਯੂ ਫ্রম ਐਮਬੈਰਸਮੈਂਟ ਜਦੋਂ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਐਕਚੁਅਲੀ ਲੋਕਾਂ ਦੇ ਸਾਹਮਣੇ ਆਨੇ ਹੋ ਫੇਕ ਇਟ ਟਿਲ ਮੇਕ ਇਟ ਡਸ ਨਾਟ ਵਰਕ ਫॉर ਮੀ ਆਨੈਸਟ ਗਾਡ i tried it it doesn't work for me you cannot be someone who you are not so it is better to fail in originality than to succeed in imitation herman melville de ina shabda de naal assi apne guest mr amrit sura da swagat karde ji mr amrit sura no punjabi naal thoda ya struggle karna pehna is karke ohna karke sanu apni tutti futti angrezi jehdi hai jod nahi pehndi hai so mr amrit sura welcome to the show brother thank you very much for accommodating my request to shift your day from thursday to wednesdays you know any day is a good day and sastrikal uh, you know very happy to see you again um blessed again and again you know there was a meaning there was a reason why this happened i i'll tell you i'll, I'll tell you a story on my journey into the office this morning um the same road that i normally take uh as i was turning right uh i saw there was a complex uh like a townhouse complex uh, i guess there was a, a a bush fire like a small landscape bush uh one of the
911 immediately. I thought, my Lord, what is happening? Why is this happening? I mean, it could have caught fire to the uh, to the to the dwelling immediately. So I called uh, emergency services. Uh, the point I'm trying to make is mm -hmm. that uh, because of the change, um, obviously I was able to react quickly. So many people in Abbotsford are thankful to you this morning as well. So <laughs> that's you know, so kind of you, Mr. Sura. I appreciate that, Mr. Sura. Uh, <laughs> I was watching one video this morning on TikTok. Okay. So there is a lady. Uh, I will rather not take her name. She talks all about sex, sex twice, and how no man can make her happy. This and that, and it is uh, believed that she is uh, making money by diverting them to her private room online. I don't know what she does there, what she doesn't do there. But recently, she is a Punjabi girl from Punjab. I don't know if she was born in Punjab or if she was born like in other country. But she is Punjabi by her descent. So there are many people opposing to her videos because she talks all vulgar on social media. While I do not, uh, you know, condemn the the actions of these individuals because they are worried their kids may be watching those videos they might get influenced she gets messages from women trying to you know imitate her style making money and she keeps telling she's making a lot of money people come to her this and that and you know those kind of uh, sexual chat rooms or something like that so everybody is uh, condemning her on the social, on, on TikTok. So I was watching this video by a Punjabi guy this morning and he was saying, I usually do not want to comment on the video, but after having seen a few videos of her, I'm ashamed that the culture of Punjab is drifting away from morality, this and that. We respect the woman, this is what is in our religion and all those things. And I was wondering, when you start watching a video, you get to know what's coming. The, the flow of the video always suggests what is coming. When I am those videos, I just scroll them up. I don't stay for more than maybe 15 seconds or 10 seconds. I just scroll them, I pass, pass by them. And when you don't see them, you don't have to comment on them. So why you first watch such videos? A, because once you start watching, the algorithm keeps displaying the same similar videos to you all the time. So when you don't look at it, it will stop sending you such notification or suggesting the feed. And then who are we to judge a person? We don't know what her circumstances are, what her upbringing is saying the whole Punjab has gone bad is not a good statement either. So I, I was really astonished. Why are people watching these videos in first place and then taking time to condemn her on social media? We are actually uh, promoting her content. Right? Indirectly, exactly. So We're actually doing a free marketing for the person and and we are judging individuals all the time. But why to watch? Stay away from those things. Yeah. So it you is, know, here's... is the nature of uh, the mud to spoil your clothing, to spoil your shape. But it is my duty to stay away from the places which have mud there. When you are walking on the road in a rainy season, do you walk right next to the puddle of water? You walk as much away from the puddle of water as you can, so no car can splash the, the muddy water onto your clothing. Exactly. Right? So why yeah. you why you get into those situations where when you go, oh okay, I was walking by this puddle and this shit silly car they drove through this uh, puddle of water and my clothes were spoiled. But why were you close to that puddle in the first place, right? 
I don't know. People are so free these days. This is, yeah, this is uh, the double-edged sword of social media, right? Uh, at the end of the day, if you are using it uh, wisely, um, you, 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 can, you can garner some benefit. But unfortunately, the distraction tactic is such that it'll uh, it'll keep you in that cycle of consuming it right so mm -hmm. uh, you know you i'm sure that you've seen you know a few of my videos and it's a cons same same kind of content uh that i'll do all the time but mm -hmm. i i personally don't consume the video right yeah. i just put it out there that's it my my whole my whole uh operation is okay i'm gonna do my daily affirmations get on with my day um and if i'm there watching all the time then um it's gonna take up valuable time and the only thing i can control um in my life is how i behave um in in my day-to-day -day routine right i can't no one can really comment on on somebody else's actions um you can try and help promote uh, a, a different way of thinking but uh, yeah um, i agree I, I totally agree but when i see those videos and i say oh, what's wrong with the people why are we so much delving on the content that we then later have to say oh this is bad this is bad okay bad i get it but why do you watch it? Stay away from the content. You don't need to be there. You you should right. shun away. And I, I totally understand people's fear that how is this going to reflect on their children? It's not good scenario. It's not exactly. good scenario, but can we control the world? We cannot. We we can only do as much is take precaution, stay away from nonsense and try to teach good values to your children is all we can do. Is there anything else we can do about it? I don't think so. so. If I can tell my children this is a bad thing, you should stay away from it. If I give them good uh, you know, values in life and I don't even have to supervise them, they will do all the right stuff. This is exactly. where things are. Yeah. We we want to we want to promote good things and uh, be that voice in in our children's in our nephews nieces heads, th saying okay well what would what would uh, my uncle Chachaji or my my daddy think uh, of this <laughs> what I'm doing now right so yeah well Mr Sura good news the inflation has come down to seven point six percent my guess was seven point five bank. RBC Bank predicted 7.7, .7, so we agreed to stay in the middle, 7.6%. Yeah. <laughs> and as you are aware, the slowdown was largely by the drop in gasoline prices. Consumption has come down and uh, industrial prices cooled further, but the consumer goods are still on the higher side. Like grocery is about 9.9% higher than what it used to be. Uh, last year, it, it has gone way up, which is a very dangerous situation. People are struggling to find their meals. If you look at this, the total in CPA inflation is 7.6% in July 2022. So the, the grocery items are way more expensive. You know, this is going to kill many households. Businesses are making profit where common people like you and me are suffering or handling the whole burden of this inflation over our heads. We, we, it has to stop. And how is market uh, going on in BC, Abbotsford? Sorry, not BC is a big area. BC is a huge area. So again, you know, uh, there's, there's some... Uh, um, obviously, people are take, taking the taking their time to make the decision. Um, you know, homes are staying on the market a little bit longer. Um, mm -hmm. Definitely, uh, definitely, still seeing activity. Um, which, for for our line of work, obviously, this kind of helps us 
create a pipeline for uh, you know future transactions but uh, on an immediate sense um, you know sales are still happening because at the end of the day some sellers who were in a position to pull the trigger um, you know three years ago their their price their price point is back to where it was three years ago um, and rather than being greedy they're able to say okay well we're in a in a position to transition now we've uh, made commitments uh, in other parts of canada um, mm -hmm. or even you know some people are moving to to the states or out of the country and yeah. uh, um, retiring or uh, you know taking taking a different journey so mm -hmm. we're seeing we're still seeing a robust market of of uh I've, I've been engaged with uh, a number of people who have moved from, you know, Montreal, um, the East Coast, especially coming mm -hmm. into uh, coming into BC. So yeah. in, in preparation for um, some good opportunity. So activity is still good. Um, people are moving now. As far as uh, the number of sales is, uh, is concerned, there's probably about uh, I'd say 60% less than last year. Mm -hmm. um, but the necessity, people who are in the necessity to move, make the move, mm -hmm. right? So regardless of uh, the economic downturns, there's still going to be activity. So um, quite positive on that. Um, as far as you know, when you when you look at the inflation rate and uh, all of the research that you do, when yeah. you when you study the GDP for uh, uh, Canada, uh, there's a considerable increase in uh, the gross domestic product, right? So um, that should be a positive thing for moving forward. Yes, the inflation rate is coming down. It'll Three months down from now. Because by the time they close, the value could already be about 6-7% below what they offer today. So if you are working on an offer today, make sure your client gets the price that will reflect a price about 3 months down now on the day of closing. So if there is an appraisal, at least you don't get a big surprise. Before I go further, uh, Mr. Amrit Sura, we have another esteemed guest with us today. His name is Gurmeet Sohi. He is a very wise man. So I was uh, intrigued by his TikTok videos and <laughs> he somehow said some agents are not happy with him. I said, I'm very happy with you. So come see me on my platform. So let me welcome Mr. Sohi up on stage here. And then we talk together. Welcome, Mr. Sohi. You are up on screen, sir. Thank you so much, Jeev. Namajish, bahut bahut shukriya. Namizi, I will tell you one thing. You are such a nice person. Nobody can hate you. Nobody can be angry with you. So do not have that feeling in your mind. You say whatever you want to say. Nobody can take away your right to freedom of speech at all. So I would like to uh, tell you, Mr. Sura, that Mr. Gurmeet Sohi is a financial advisor, investor, stock trader, and also a United Nations diplomat. I am very pleased to have him up here on this platform. Thank you very much, Mr. Sohi, for sparing some time with us. Thank you very much, Ji. And you are watching Mr. Amrit Sura. He is from Abbotsford, BC. He does an amazing work, but only his his only problem is Enu Punjabi nahi ondi. Okay, well, right, uh, Amrit. Uh, um, so, you know, when you when, when you start a when you start an old motorcycle, right? It takes a tori, time. Tori, tori Punjabi ondi. <laughs> my accent is a little bit different, but you will have time to give me time, and you will understand that this is Punjabi. I am very Punjabi. Same situation is with us, is, uh, especially with me, is with the English. I don't have confidence in the English speaker. 
<laughs> so from what I've what I've understood and learned over the years of traveling and working that jede appa hon educated in India or Kenya Africa their understanding of the English language is far better than jede bande England to hage jede Canada or America to we hage right they you've learned it the proper way um yeah right maybe maybe the pronunciations are different but uh when, you know if you take a student from india same grade and a, take a student from um canada ona the understanding is completely different on the english language so yeah Yeah. So this is Dumi Sohi. We we were very happy to see inflation rate going down. At least it's seven point six percent now, and uh, major mm-hmm. banks are predicting up to twenty five percent down. The market going down, and I know you are very critical of many professionals who don't do their job well, and it, I highly appreciate that. We need people who can bring forward, put this point forth that hey, look, when you work with someone. make sure the person is working for you not for themselves i am totally in sync with your statement so what do you have to say about the economy uh economy wise uh, if we see there is a macro picture if we let's start with the macro picture uh to world the biggest economy us and china चाइना दे आप सिचुएशन देख रहे हैं उतों की रियल स्टेट मार्केट का जो इंपैक्ट थोड़ा थोड़ा देखना शुरू हो रहा है कल ज परसों की न्यूज़ से उन्होंने फोर्टी फोर बिलियन डॉलर का रिलीफ पैकेज भी दिता है रियल स्टेट मार्केट में बिकॉज एवर ग्रांड ने जो सब तो बड़ा डेवलपर है उन्हें दोबारा फिर अपनी मॉरगेज पेमेंट मिस कर दी है तो असल हाले चल ही रही है एंड हाउ इट विल पैन आउट एंड इट स्टिल यू नो ऑन द एयर ਕਿੱਦਾਂ ਸਿਚੁਏਸ਼ਨ ਆਏਗੀ ਤਾਂ ਪ੍ਰੋਬਲਮ ਇਜ਼ ਚਾਈਨਾ ਚਾਈਨਾ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਵਨ ਆਫ ਦਾ ਬਿਗੈਸਟ ਹੋਲਡਰ ਆਫ ਯੂਐਸ ਟ੍ਰੈਜ਼ਰੀ ਬਾਂਡਸ ਸੋ ਅਗਰ ਚਾਈਨਾ ਦੀ ਇਕਨੋਮੀ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਪ੍ਰੋਬਲਮ ਆਉਂਦੀ ਹੈ ਤਾਂ ਇਟ ਕੈਨ ਇੰਪੈਕਟ ਦੇ ਕੈਨ ਡੰਪ ਦਾ ਯੂਐਸ ਟ੍ਰੈਜ਼ਰੀ ਬਾਂਡ ਤੇ ਉਹਦਾ ਫਿਰ ਇੰਪੈਕਟ ਪੂਰੀ ਦੁਨੀਆ 'ਚ ਦਿਖੇਗਾ ਸੋ ਦੈਟ ਇਜ਼ ਲਾਈਕ ਬਿਗਰ ਪਿਕਚਰ ਆਫ ਮਾਈਕਰੋਸ ਮੈਕਰੋਸਾਈਟਸ ਐਂਡ ਸੈਕੰਡ ਜੋ ਆਪਣੀ ਫਰਸਟ ਵਰਲਡ ਇਕਨੋਮੀ ਹੈਗੀ ਹੈ ਯੂਐਸ ਦੀ ਦੇ ਆਰ ਡੂਇੰਗ ਵੈਲ ਸੋ ਫਾਰ ਜੀਡੀਪੀ ਦੇ ਹਿਸਾਬ ਨਾਲ ਦੇਖੀਏ ਤਾਂ ਗਰੋਥ ਥੋੜੀ ਸਲਗਿਸ਼ ਹੈਗੀ ਹੈ ਬਟ ਜੌਬ ਨੰਬਰਸ ਆਰ ਸਟਿਲ ਸਟਰੋਂਗ ਟੂ ਲੇਟਲੀ ਆਪਾਂ ਦੇਖੇ ਹੈਗੇ ਨੇ ਸਪੈਸ਼ਲੀ ਦਾ ਪੈਂਟ ਅਪ ਡਿਮਾਂਡ ਵੀ ਕਹਿ ਸਕਦੇ ਆ ਬਿਕੋਜ਼ ਮੋਸਟਲੀ ਜੌਬਸ ਜੋ ਕ੍ਰੀਏਸ਼ਨ ਹੋਈ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਸਰਵਿਸ ਇੰਡਸਟਰੀ ਵਾਲੀ ਸਾਈਡ ਜ਼ਿਆਦਾ ਹੋਈ ਹੈ ਜਾਂ ਕੁਝ ਫਾਰਮਾਂ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਹੋਈ ਹੈ ਬਿਕੋਜ਼ ਦਟ ਪੀਪਲ ਆਰ ਟਰੈਵਲਿੰਗ ਪੀਪਲ ਵਰ ਐਟ ਹੋਮ ਰਾਈਟ ਤੋਂ ਉਹਦਾ ਵੀ ਇੱਕ ਇੰਪੈਕਟ ਹੋ ਸਕਦਾ ਹੋ ਸਕਦਾ ਹੈ ਟੈਂਪਰੇਰੀ ਜੌਬ ਕ੍ਰੀਏਸ਼ਨ ਹੋਵੇ ਐਂਡ ਵਿੰਟਰ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਇਹ ਸ਼ਾਇਦ ਜੌਬ ਕੰਟੀਨਿਊਸ਼ਨ ਦਾ ਨਾ ਰਹੇ ਅਗਰ ਆਪਾਂ ਮਾਈਕਰੋ ਆਪਾਂ ਮਾਈਕਰੋ ਪਿਕਚਰ ਦੇਖੀਏ ਕੈਨੇਡਾ ਦੀ ਕੈਨੇਡਾ ਦੇ ਆਰ ਡੂਇੰਗ ਓਕੇ ਸੋ ਫਾਰ ਵੀ ਲੋਸ ਸਮ ਜੌਬਸ 31000 ਦੇ ਆਸ ਪਾਸ ਜੌਬਸ ਲੋਸ ਹੋਈਆਂ ਹਨ ਬਟ ਜਿੱਦਾਂ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਕਿਹਾ ਇਨਫਲੇਸ਼ਨ ਟੀਮ ਡਾਊਨ ਹੋ ਰਹੀ ਆਲ ਓਵਰ ਦਾ ਵਰਲਡ ਤੋ ਉਹਦੇ ਕਰਕੇ ਇੰਟਰਸਟ ਰੇਟ ਵੀ ਆਪਾਂ ਦੇਖ ਰਹੇ ਹਾਂ ਨੀਚੇ ਹੋ ਰਹੇ ਹਾਂ ਤੇ ਮੇਨਲੀ ਇਹਦਾ ਇਫੈਕਟ ਹੈਗਾ ਵੀ ਆਇਲ ਤੇ ਗੈਸ ਪ੍ਰਾਈਸ ਥੋੜੇ ਟਿਕ ਆ 100 ਡਾਲਰ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਕਰੂਡ ਆਇਲ ਤੇ ਨੀਚੇ ਆਪਾਂ ਟ੍ਰੇਡ ਕਰ ਰਹੇ ਹਾਂ ਮੋਰ ਦਨ 1 ਮੰਥ ਹੋ ਗਿਆ ਐਂਡ ਦੈਟ ਇਜ਼ ਡਰਾਈਵਿੰਗ ਦ ਇਨਫਲੇਸ਼ਨ ਡਾਊਨ ਸਾਈਡ ਸੋ ਵੀ ਐਕਸਪੈਕਟ ਕਰ ਸਕਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਵੀ ਨੈਕਸਟ 1 ਟੂ 2 ਮੰਥਸ ਇਹ ਟ੍ਰੈਂਡ ਆਪਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਦੇਖਣ ਨੂੰ ਮਿਲੇਗਾ ਤੇ ਇਸੇ ਕਰਕੇ ਹੋ ਸਕਦਾ ਵੀ ਇਸ ਵਾਰ ਜੋ ਬੈਂਕ ਕੈਨੇਡਾ ਦਾ ਇੰਟਰਸਟ ਰੇਟ ਜੋ ਅਨਾਉਂਸਮੈਂਟ ਹੈਗੀ ਆ they might continue with the expectation with the five basis point that uh, they can go for 50 basis point but one of the comment yeah. is tarah di aandi that is also very important for the next uh, rate cut so ho sakda next rate cut apan nu pause dekhnu mile next your uh, interest rate da announcement aani hai jo bhi oh bhi expected si ki about 50 basis point oh shayad apan nu na mile so ਉਹਦਾ ਇੱਕ ਸੈਂਟੀਮੈਂਟਲ ਬੂਸਟਰ ਆ ਸਕਦਾ ਰੀਅਲ ਸਟੇਟ ਮਾਰਕੀਟ ਸਪੈਸ਼ਲੀ ਬਿਕੋਜ਼ ਰੀਅਲ ਸਟੇਟ ਮਾਰਕੀਟ ਇਜ਼ ਡਾਇਰੈਕਟਲੀ ਇੰਪੈਕਟਡ ਬਾਈ ਦਾ ਇੰਟਰਸਟ ਰੇਟ ਸੋ ਤੋਂ ਬੜਾ ਇੰਪੈਕਟ ਹੈਗਾ ਜੀ ਰਾਈਟ ਸੋ ਲਾਰਜ ਲਿਟ ਪਿਕਚਰ
ਉਹਦੇ ਵੀ ਜੋ ਗੈਸ ਐਂਡ ਆਇਲ ਪ੍ਰਾਈਸ ਦਾ ਇਫੈਕਟ ਬਹੁਤ ਜ਼ਿਆਦਾ ਹੋਇਆ ਰਸ਼ੀਆ ਦੀ ਵਾਰ ਕਰਕੇ ਅਗਰ ਉਹਦੀ ਕੰਟੀਨਿਊਸ਼ਨ ਚਲਦੀ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਬਿਕੋਜ਼ ਵਿੰਟਰ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਇਫ ਦੁਬਾਰੇ ਸਿਚੁਏਸ਼ਨ ਐਗਰੇਵੇਟ ਹੋ ਸਕਦੀ ਹੈ ਗੈਸ ਪ੍ਰਾਈਸਸ ਉੱਪਰ ਜਾ ਸਕਦੇ ਨੇ ਤੇ ਉਹਦਾ ਇੰਪੈਕਟ ਆਪਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਫਿਰ ਇਨਫਲੇਸ਼ਨ ਤੇ ਦੇਖਣ ਨੂੰ ਮਿਲੇਗਾ ਬਟ ਨੈਕਸਟ 1 ਟੂ 2 ਮੰਥਸ ਲੱਗਦਾ ਹੈ ਵੀ ਇਨਫਲੇਸ਼ਨ ਸ਼ਾਇਦ ਡਾਊਨ ਵਰਡਸ ਹੀ ਰਹੇਗੀ just okay i was going to ask you this question actually ki are we in a recession to see oda jawab vich de ditta ki hale recession vich situation te nahi 100% aayi kyunki hale gdp jehdi hai oda kende ki do quarter de negative growth hove ta hi us to baad recession announce kiti jandi ji oh actually technically to ho gaya hai do quarter di negative gdp aayi hai gi numbers but it thoda ja stance change kar rahe ne ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਉਹਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਨਾਲ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਜੌਬ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਵੀ ਇੰਪੈਕਟ ਦੇਖਣਾ ਪਏਗਾ ਪਰ ਲੇਕਿਨ ਜੌਬ ਕ੍ਰੀਏਸ਼ਨ ਠੀਕ ਠਾਕ ਚੱਲ ਰਹੀ ਹੈ ਐਂਡ ਦਾ ਪਲੱਸ ਜੋ ਆਨ ਆ ਰਹੇ ਆ ਆਪਣੀਆਂ ਬੜੀ ਬੜੀ ਕੰਪਨੀਆਂ ਦੀਆਂ ਸਪੈਸ਼ਲੀ ਰੀਟੇਲ ਸਾਈਡ ਜੋ ਕੰਜੂ ਉਹਦੀ ਅਰਨਿੰਗ ਠੀਕ ਠਾਕ ਆ ਰਹੀ ਹੈ ਇਟਸ ਬੈਟਰ ਥੈਨ ਐਕਸਪੈਕਟਡ ਜੋ ਫੋਰਕਾਸਟ ਹੋ ਰਹੀ ਸੀ ਉਸ ਤੋਂ ਵਧੀਆ ਆ ਰਹੀ ਹੈ ਅਰਨਿੰਗ ਇਸ ਲਈ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਦੇਖੋਗੇ ਸਟਾਕ ਮਾਰਕੀਟ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਦੇਖੋਗੇ ਲਾਸਟ 7 6 ਵੀਕਸ ਤੋਂ ਇੱਕ ਰਿਕਵਰੀ ਚੱਲ ਰਹੀ ਹੈ ਸੋ ਸਟਾਕ ਮਾਰਕੀਟ ਥੋੜਾ ਇੱਕ ਲੀਡਿੰਗ ਇੰਡੀਕੇਟਰ ਕਾਈਂਡ ਆਫ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਬਹੁਤ ਜਲਦੀ ਡਾਟਾ ਤੇ ਰਿਐਕਟ ਕਰਦੀ ਹੈ ਮਾਰਕੀਟ ਰਾਈਟ ਸੋ ਪ੍ਰੋਬਬਲੀ ਰੀਅਲ ਸਟੇਟ ਫਾਲੋ ਦਾ ਸੇਮ ਟ੍ਰੈਂਡ ਸੋ ਨੈਕਸਟ 2 3 ਮੰਥ ਰੀਅਲ ਸਟੇਟ ਵੀ ਥੋੜੀ ਬਹੁਤ ਸੈਂਟੀਮੈਂਟਲ ਬੂਸਟ ਆ ਸਕਦਾ ਹੈ ਤੋ ਪ੍ਰਾਈਸ ਜੋ ਲਗਾਤਾਰ ਡ੍ਰੌਪ ਹੋ ਰਿਹਾ ਸ਼ਾਇਦ ਉਹ ਇੱਕ ਸਸਟੇਨ ਲੈਵਲ ਤੇ ਹੋ ਜਾਣ ਓਕੇ ਥੈਟਸ ਥੈਟਸ ਅ ਗੁੱਡ ਇਨਫੋਰਮੇਸ਼ਨ ਅਸੀਂ ਦੇਖ ਰਹੇ ਹਾਂ ਕਿ ਵੈਰ ਵੀ ਆਰ ਲੁਕਿੰਗ ਐਟ ਦ ਸਟੈਟਿਸਟਿਕਸ ਆਈ ਇਫ ਆਈ ਲੁਕ ਐਟ ਦ ਸਟੈਟਿਸਟਿਕਸ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਕੰਸਟਰਕਸ਼ਨ ਕੈਨੇਡਾ ਵਾਈਡ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਕੰਸਟਰਕਸ਼ਨ ਹੈਗੀ ਆ ਉਹ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਆ ਡ੍ਰੌਪ ਹੋਈ ਆ 1.5% ਜਿਹੜੇ ਬਿਲਡਿੰਗ ਪਰਮਿਟ 5% ਲੈਸ ਰਿਲੀਜ਼ ਹੋਇਆ ਆਈ ਥਿੰਕ ਥਿਸ ਵਾਸ ਵਾਟ ਯੂ ਵਰ ਟਾਕਿੰਗ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਅਮਰਿਤ ਡੇ ਬਿਫੋਰ ਲਾਸਟ ਟਾਈਮ ਰਾਈਟ ਰਾਈਟ ਸੋ ਓਨਟੇਰੀਓ ਹੀ ਇੱਕ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਇਸ ਵਕਤ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਪ੍ਰੋਵਿੰਸ ਹੈ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਕਿ ਬਿਲਡਿੰਗ ਪਰਮਿਟ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਆ 11.6% ਅਪ ਹੋਏ ਆ ਜ਼ਿਆਦਾ ਰਿਲੀਜ਼ ਹੋਏ ਆ ਫਾਰ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਇਹਦੀ ਓਨਟੇਰੀਓ ਪੁਸ਼ਿਸ ਅਪ ਰੈਜ਼ੀਡੈਂਸ਼ੀਅਲ ਸੈਕਟਰ ਉਹ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਪਰਮਿਟ ਰਿਲੀਜ਼ ਕੀਤੇ ਆ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੀ ਵੈਲਿਊ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਹੈ 3.1% ਤੋਂ ਮਤਲਬ 8.2 ਬਿਲੀਅਨ ਨੈਸ਼ਨਲੀ ਇਨਕਰੀਜ਼ ਹੋਈ ਦਾ ਵੈਲਿਊ ਆਫ ਰੈਜ਼ੀਡੈਂਸ਼ੀਅਲ ਪਰਮਿਟਸ ਇਨ ਜੂਨ ਇਨਕਰੀਜ਼ਡ 3.1% $2.82 million billion sorry uh, nationally jehde multi family building permit jehde ya oh, increase hoya 6.5% nationwide ontario vich 24.8% da increase hoya leading the way due to several apartment buildings being built in mississauga overall 15 of the 20 highest value permits submitted across all sectors were for apartments or condo buildings so eh ede naal thoda ek ta lokan nu shelter milega te dusre economy nu boost milega i am i'm not talking as expert financial advisor like mr sohi is but sadi knowledge ek layman type di knowledge hai which we derive from sources we deem we 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 trust they are reliable but we talk about these numbers totally without any representation to accuracy or any other guarantee implied or otherwise so sada data sirf jo milda sanu from sources they are not public sources sometimes we we extract them from sources that come to us due to our membership with different regulators so which is a good thing a permit going up means more houses will be built up and there will be competition for the best prices uh, so he is all do you think it is a right idea to buy builder homes this time because builders have already increased the values of the house is pre built i don't know what they will look like 2 years from now when the possession comes due so that was a question for mr sohi right uh, okay i thought um mr amrit would be a better position to answer that sure. uh, on our okay so <laughs> all right let's see i mean for for the value that they're uh, proposing um in, in a two year outlook will it will it
and you know the historic sales trend would definitely reflect that i mean any any appraiser is going to look at historic sales and see well is this value still the same as it was when it was marketed um mm -hmm. i i think canada real estate wherever you are whether whether it's in toronto um or sorry ontario or in bc there's always going to be a demand for it so someone's going to see the value in taking the plunge and moving their entire family to a different country for the sake of the safety that we offer here so there's many things that we uh n nobody can look in a crystal ball and say hey um it's going to be a uh you know a, a 50 percent increase on your uh investment strategy uh after two or three years when the when the building's complete um, mm -hmm. but historically everything in canada has gone up we discussed two weeks ago that there was a hundred and ninety percent change just in abbotsford abbotsford is a little town it was a little town now it's a thriving big city because again, there's um, you know a, a lot of growth attracted here because the farming community, there's an international airport, and specific communities wherever they are. If there is a, a, a pre-build scenario, someone will see the value. Someone will mm -hmm. see the value. Okay. Uh, I like it because of the the um, the proximity to the the schools that are around for my children to get educated. Um, yeah. So, you know, whether it's Vancouver, whether it's Edmonton, whether it's uh, uh, Ontario, like there's there's specific schools that so, some of my some of my clients, they sold their properties in BC and moved to Edmonton because there were some schools in Edmonton that was able to, that were able to facilitate uh, their children. So, mm -hmm. uh, again, um you know looking into the crystal ball if there is a crystal ball um will they will they tally up um possibly possibly i mean uh, but generally historically we've seen an increase yes there's small dips uh, but there there will be you know continuous demand for british columbia real estate Look mm -hmm. at the look at the immigration numbers. Um, Mr. Sohik may lend some uh, some some comment on how he sees uh, some of his client base coming into into Canada from other parts of the world um, for the sake that okay, there's more security in this part of part of the world, right? And the, these people are going to fuel the economy. These are these are Yes, everybody's an immigrant in Canada, but the the pr primarily the immigrants that are the that are coming in to Canada now, um, they're professionals. They come in here to work. They, you know, they they might start on uh, a, a student visa and then buy into a business. They're going to fuel the economy, and over time, you'll see gradually things will start to improve yes there's uh, a, a, a crisis at the present time in the market uh, inflation rates are um, at all-time high but in the space of three months like you've just we just uh, place come down mm -hmm. although it's a fraction that has come down it's happened within a matter of three months I think you should be a diplomat. You, you, your answer to the whole question is very diplomatic. <laughs> it is between yes and no. But what I think is builders who sold the houses, let's say last year, those houses were priced at the current, that time's market values. Builders see all these things, they see the prices going up, they price their development accordingly. So there are still many units which have not sold. They are still there. If you go to Kitchener, you will find builders trying to sell. 
those unit even on MLS <coughs> system <coughs> excuse me or using the uh, metric system uh, I see many listings from builder trying to sell their pending units for prices that people are not going to buy them at many people close the houses thinking they will you know make a profit but now they are just trying to cover their cost this is unfortunate and I'm, I'm thinking maybe uh, this year will not be a good year for the builders unless they price the houses uh, pre-construction at a very competitive price. This is what my take is. I may be wrong, but this is what I think as a layman, as a common person. I'm not putting my expert opinion up here. This will be a common man's perception. I think they are going to wait. What do you think, Mr. Sohi? Yeah, my two cents that um, I do not have have uh, data actually but uh, what i think is the mostly jo pre booking hundi hai it's uh, the investor mindset kind of people do the pre booking then the first time home buyers right so it's mostly uh, uh, derived by the investor so oh investor is time market to thoda ja apna hand piche khich rahe hai because uh, uh, risk reward ratio or, or cost of borrowing is main reason right so is a uh, developer the new unit as you said be, they can get a big hit actually they can yeah. go on for, for next few years i would say uh, because yeah, i am pretty I, confident this this is uh, like we can just predict we can assume if you think from a common man's perspective things could be totally different because we may keep saying oh the best price but they don't want it and builders they need approval mortgage before you give them uh, firm up the offer they need to know you are approved because they need to cover their asses off sorry for this language but they just mm -hmm. want to tell hey they told you if you're getting interest rate of 5.29 percent you are not qualified at 5.25 percent at 7.29 percent come on Give a break to those people. It's too this this wall is too high for people. Four hundred thousand dollars, and she asked me, "Can you tell me if I qualify for this?" I looked up at her current mortgage where she is living, and expected mortgage, and you are hundred thousand over mortgage eligibility for her was minus one hundred thousand dollars. I'm just rounding the number. It could be minus ninety eight thousand dollars, but. She, the system told me that she is already over this rate so this is going to be biggest level so he said keep doing the good work keep educating community about what they should watch out that's the whole purpose of this program is we like to educate avers or without any return. unless people know what to ask a realtor what to ask them to do for them things will be chaotic as always those people who just jump it is doing great seen any listings with signs on them that say sold 300000 were asking you see that in meadow area i don't see any i don't see many but yeah there are still some people who will say they got 13 offers come on if you price a million dollar home for 500000 dollars you will get more than 13 offers <laughs> yeah yeah those are all taxes right <laughs> that's uh <laughs> that all the time happens in the real estate industry but the fundamentally uh you know as i my video also uh this is a uh, not very good situation for the buyers uh if you see the affordability ratio is very bad still the fundamental hasn't changed the price have come down like 20 percent let's say 25 percent but uh, fundamentals are still the same the affordability is more or less same so the average household income you know in canada is under 100000 and the price average home price is like uh, 600 and 900 something uh, thousand dollars so the affordability according to the financial sense will be 3 to 4 times your annual income the house you buy so the, we are far away from the affordability ratio and yeah, uh, you are you are right. The pent up demand, the neutral reasons that can drive the market for certain number of years, let's say four, yeah. three years, five years maximum. But if you see the longer time picture for 20 to 30 years picture, so fundamentals always sink in sooner or later. So it might not do actually six 
to seconds from uh, now it's uh, almost eight to nine times so there is still um, uh, space for the second thing uh, the qualification as we have discussed that will be difficult uh, one should watch for the economic indicator also if mm -hmm. uh, if there is a secondary environment uh, it also impact people's job the livelihood so if you're taking the, the too much the mortgage if you're like 50 percent more than 50 percent for payment goes to the mortgage then you should one should be very watchful over there so you also yeah. finance thing you also have to consider how much you can afford conveniently i mean if even you lose one of the job i say both husband and wife are working absolutely pay, do the all i totally needs. agree with that yeah it it can very well happen you know the companies can do the layoff quickly no um you know a bar or there there is no such regulations this is just a one month notice mostly it's a two week notice so yeah. uh, we consume a uh, lot of things as a end user but we need to be careful uh, especially when you buy the house uh, if, as i talk in my personal finance videos if you are uh, you, the mortgage payment is under 30% of whatever income you bring home then it's okay makes sense but in, mostly we are paying uh, most biggest expense of our in a, in a house mortgage payment right sometimes it takes 60 to 70 percent of our income so that's where you be a little careful mindful um going forward for at least for yeah. next two to three years i agree mr sohi currently the affordability is about uh, uh, this is the fact so this time people are paying about 43 percent of their disposable income to cover the shelter expenses it has gone way too high from 39 percent i guess from the last month and 34.5 percent from the previous year so when you say mortgage payment below 30 percent it's not happening for a long time people are paying close to 43 percent this is the latest data about this information and it is hard with the inflated grocery bill by close to 10 percent people are frustrated that's how that's why you see those uh, incidences of uh, snatching or theft auto theft they are on the rise the, even people are so angry they don't hesitate to shoot other people these days it's it has become a common place the, the attack on Jyoti Singh Man was the latest one in the series which was very condemnable act but shouldn't have happened I don't know what transpired how it happened what was the ground reality for this because there are always two sides to each and every incident that happened but you are right people should watch for their affordability not only this time like okay if I can buy a mortgage today okay let's get a house they should look at least five years down the lane because mortgage is a risk it is a commitment where you it's are the biggest long -term. One can take. yeah, yeah. Uh, you user uh, don't consider this is one of the biggest liability we take for 20 to 30 years and we have yeah. to pay every month it's not like a one-time you debt. pay every month and there's no escaping from it this is the first expense people should pay from their pocket the shelter yeah. expenses and they are people mistake, uh, right now yeah people mistake the real estate as a investment this is not an investment when you borrow money for any asset that's called a speculation uh, investing right the, if it's it's a leverage play if 20 percent price goes up your capital goes double if 20 percent goes down your capital becomes zero if you have to do that that's transition. true i so agree you every have, investment has some risk and all the potential but what uh, people should understand is if someone loses a job someone gets uh, you know loses a limb gets into an accident is unable to earn anymore make sure you have proper coverage you are protected so many uh, credit card companies that give you some kind of insurance they charge two or three dollar per bill uh, in my understanding that just covers your minimum down payment minimum payment on the bill if it is twenty dollar they will pay twenty dollar but you still owe the whole money to pay them so don't be yeah. fooled by banks offering you <laughs> coverage that if you can pay we will pay for you and then they charge two three dollars every month 
and you say you are happy okay i can spend five thousand dollars and if i can't make payment the bank will cover that bank will only cover maybe fifteen dollars of that payment <laughs> right mr sura have you come across yes. those things <laughs> absolutely yeah i mean at the end of the day the the, the bank's job is to promote money borrowing right now we have to be sensible enough uh, to educate our clients our peers our colleagues in order to say okay well th this is these are the, the the costs that are incurring on a day-to-day -day basis so yeah very important you know the education the education system needs to sort of uh, bring in uh, people with knowledge like mr. Uh, Sohi and yourself to, to say okay guys um, yeah what what uh, what what are your goals and dreams and hopes uh, let's put that into reality and uh, have some kind of perspective on the future now yes live for the moment but don't take uh, don't don't have a conversation you know don't don't have uh, the the conversation where um, it's all feels encouraging but then there's no hope because there's nothing there's nothing in the pot right you're so, right mr sura one has to be very proactively thinking because this is what i keep saying to people if you want to wait wait as long as you can but at the same time if you have are able to buy today without stressing yourself out today is the right time but buy at a price uh, a few months down make sure the house the house value are going down by around two to three percent every month we are seeing it exceptions do occur somewhere it is a little uh, you know less somewhere it is a little more but you should do an educated guess and try to add a clause let's say the seller doesn't agree at a future price you you the house is listed for let's say a million dollar and you try to give him 6% less because you're closing in three months uh, period. And you say, no, no, I need to take 60,000 off this value because of the market uncertainty. And the seller doesn't agree to that. Okay, that's fine. Then there is a work around to that. Add a clause in there that the appraisal will determine the real value. And if the appraisal is off by more than, let's say, $50,000, the seller will have to adjust the price the seller should understand that he has to be very careful when he makes his next move because when a house sells the seller has to either upgrade or downgrade so based on your promise when you remove the conditions the seller takes the next step so if you are unable to qualify at a later date it is not seller's fault it is your fault because you did not take care of yourself at that offer. If you have a clause built in that if the appraised value comes less by more than $50,000, if that is a margin you can handle easily, then the seller will adjust the price accordingly. So if you don't do that, it's going to be a suicidal step because people are losing deposit over this or they are taking high rate private mortgage from individuals which are called shark loan uh, shark loan companies I don't know if I use the right word you call them shark loaners or loan shark sharks. lenders loan sharks loan shark yeah that's the right word so you're talking about loan shark so to stay away from loan sharks you have to be wise today that's okay buying today is not a bad idea but listen to Mr. Sohi, don't be angry with him because he's talking the uh, sense into people's mind. Those things yeah, do matter I, a lot. I completely agree. I totally resonate with your idea. This is not the worst time for the first time home buyer, especially uh, because yeah. price has come down 20, 30 percent already um, in most places. And so is your payment going to go up uh, uh, like 20, 30 to 40 percent during the interest rate, right? So, yeah. but your uh, uh, down payment also going to be significantly reduced. Million dollar house you're getting an 8k now. So, so you're, you will have you will save something on a down payment. So, yeah. if you are going to buy for a long term, uh, the best uh, it's, it's 
may probably not the best time, but it's not also the worst time. So you're getting a still okay value. But for the investor side, the numbers are encouraging because of the cost of borrowing. And, you know, so if if you buying the first home, I would still suggest you could start looking. Uh, not the bad, bad time. Thank you very much, Mr. Zoe. Uh, there is a very uh, decent input. Uh, I really appreciate you. Please keep coming back on this program. Just send me a message. You got the link. You can use it thousand times. Just tell me, Paul, I want to come. I have something to share and I would love to host you. Uh, for sure. weird reason, today my GPU is telling me it is overloaded and I don't know what that means. I have the highest, a monster computer setup just for broadcasting. This is the first time I am seeing this message. So maybe I did something wrong. So, I'm a techie guy. I'm one man show here. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So, well, thank you guys. Thank you very much for your you so uh, input. Amrit, thank you, you are so coming me. back next Wednesday. Yes, please. Thank you very much. Amrit comes, uh, used to come on Thursdays, but Thursdays I got some kind of overlap with other meetings. The reason I requested you thus, uh, to skip Thursday was because I can always record my episode the night before and then stream it the next day live. So Thursday I am trying to deviate a bit but yeah, famous. Do you have any final words to say Mr. Sohi before I switch to Mr. Um, Sura? Uh, just uh, I want to uh, say thank you for putting that point, uh, strategic point for uh, uh, new buyers uh, uh, to have this uh, appraisal, uh, you know, clause. But I think it's a very good point, uh, especially who's looking to buy at this point. So it was a wonderful uh, talking to both of you, uh, Amriti. I will uh, try to follow you on. Are you think I think you are on TikTok or or YouTube? Um, so. Uh, maybe see you some other uh, in some other episode. Uh, Absolutely. Soon. Thank I'm you so much. Forward to it. Yeah. Thank you so much. Your valuable information is appreciated. And I'm thinking the more you do it, the better it is. You, you know, you're impacting community on a daily basis. So don't stop what you're doing. Yep. I appreciate your comments. Thank you. Yeah. Be fearless. Be because you have to be open to criticism. You can't think like other people. So you have to mm -hmm. think the way you think. You don't have to change yourself. Uh, this is the quote we shared before. It is better to fail in originality than to succeed in imitation. So people Absolutely. pretend to be successful when they are not. It is better to say, hey, I failed. I didn't do it right. I'm sorry. I'm trying to be better. But people don't do that. People want to show them in now these days all the realtors on social media have become jumpy i want to dance like them i want to show like this like this like i cannot do that i tried but this is not in my genes mm -hmm. i don't know i can't be that humorous <laughs> I, I, this is my problem but i see them and i say oh really that's awesome but before we end the program uh, i would like to thank amrit sura if you need any help with real estate in abbotsford bc his phone number to call is 778-999 and 1531 i remember it thoroughly i still have to remember mr so his phone number but mr so if you can just share your phone number where people can reach to you if they need any financial advice please do so now yeah, so my contact number is 437-288-2871. And 437-288-2871. So please give me a shout if you need any help. He is available anytime you need help. So before we close this session, I would like to sympathize with all those families who lost their beloved ones today. We, we all have to leave this world, beautiful planet, but we shall pray for peace to the departed soul. And also we shall pray to God that he gives you strength to overcome this biggest wide vacuum in your life. Keep enjoying the legacy those people left behind and keep them in your thoughts. Thank you very much for watching PC24 RE TV. We will be back tomorrow from 10.30 to 11.30 a.m. If you like our show, Please subscribe to our YouTube channel.
it is PC24 RETV and I will request you to share it with your friends and family members. This is the non-political, non-religious platform. We talk all those things that make sense for a common home buyer and home seller. And I am supported with my colleagues just like Mr. Amrit Sura and uh, now we have a host, a guest, Mr. Uh, Gurmeet Sohi. So please stay in touch. Thank you very much and we take it offline now. Bye-bye.